like Popeye's chicken more than KFC. Is there anything wrong with that sentence? Stay tuned to find out. Hey guys, it's Jen. I'm a test prep tutor and I make educational content on YouTube. Today I'm back with another SAT writing tutorial. We're specifically talking about comparison questions today. This is a very common question type that can be quite tricky sometimes, so I really want to deep dive into it with you. If you're new here, make sure you do subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. To understand comparison questions, we have to set some foundation. There are some foundational rules you should know. All right, so in the intro, I gave you a sentence. I like Popeye's chicken more than KFC. Do you think there's anything wrong with the sentence? Let's look into it. Well, here it is. I like Popeye's chicken more than KFC. If you said that there is something wrong, you are correct. But what exactly is wrong with it? When we're dealing with a comparison question, the first thing you have to make sure of is you're comparing apples to apples. In this sentence, I am actually comparing Popeye's chicken, a food item, with KFC, a fast food joint. You can't compare food to a restaurant that's not going to work, okay? So that's incorrect. So how can we correct it? Well, one way we can do that is by writing, I like Popeye's chicken more than KFC's, okay? Apostrophe S. That's a possessive that tells us that we're comparing Popeye's chicken to KFC's chicken. I can also say, if I wanted to, I like Popeye's chicken more than that of KFC. Once again, the that here references chicken. Okay, so that would be okay. That's the concept. Let's see how we do when we apply it to actual SET questions. So here's the first one. No transition was more successful than those from the golden to silver age. So again, with transition questions, you must identify what you are comparing. Well, there is a four-letter word that also signals to us that this is a transition question. Do you see it? It's this word right here, van. Okay, and just as I did here, I expect you to also take your pencil and circle the word. It is so important. Once you see this word, your next order of business is to figure out what we're comparing. In this case, we are comparing transition to transition. Okay, so the transition to the transition from the golden to silver age. Well, what is transition? Hopefully you can tell that's singular. So the singular version here is going to be that. Okay, the answer is C. That one is nice and simple. Now let's take it up a notch and see if you can do it with a harder question. All right. This next question came from, I believe it was the October 2018 SAT exam. And when students first saw this question, there was a whole riot, okay? Most students were between two answers and they swore up and down that they are identical, but they're not and I'm going to show you why. Okay, so we're going to read the sentence first. She found that students were required to volunteer rush to complete their service hours in early high school. They then did significantly less volunteer work in the 12th grade than the service hours of those not required to volunteer. Okay, right off the bat, hopefully you can tell that underlying portion there, that does not sound right, that is not correct, but there are two answers here that students are between. It is B and D, okay? B says, than did students who were, and D says, compared with students, okay? And again, many, many students thought these two were identical, so what's the problem? To understand the difference between the two, I first want to explain to you a concept called comparative adjectives. As its name implies, these are adjectives that compare two nouns to each other. Okay, so typically comparative adjectives are easy to recognize because they'll have an ER at the end. So things like nicer, lower, better. Right, these are all comparing two nouns and, um, and yeah, so those are comparative adjectives. Well, when you have a comparative adjective, you are already signaling a comparison between two nouns, so you would not then say compared with because that would be redundant. So what we need to do is to figure out whether our sentence contains a comparative adjective. It turns out that it does, but it's not going to be one of the easy, easiest to recognize ones. It doesn't have an ER at the end, but here, less. 
Less is a comparative adjective. I have less patience than my husband. Right? That would be a comparative adjective here. So because we are we here have a comparative adjective, we are not going to say compared with students. Okay? We're going to say than did students who were. Even though it may not sound as nice to you, this is grammatically correct. There is also a little bit of a parallel structure here. They then did less work than did students who were, right? But the real reason behind this, the real accurate grammatical reason is around comparative adjectives. Okay, so let's see how much of that you absorbed because we're going to try one more. This sentence says, researchers found that the observable sign-up strategy was three times more effective than the anonymous one. Clearly another comparison question. Do we see here a comparative adjective? Okay, in the last sentence, our comparative adjective was less. Well, this sentence, it is more. Okay, specifically more effective. So what are we comparing? Well, we're comparing the observable sign-up strategy to the anonymous one, and we have a more here, so we have a comparative adjective, which then means it is not going to be B. Okay, but we're already comparing apples to apples, sign-up strategy to sign-up strategy, so the answer here is just than. All right, guys, there you go. We just did a couple of examples ranging from easy to more challenging. Um, I want to recap this principle for you real quick. First tip is when you see that word, the four letter word than, T-H-A-N, it signals to you that you're dealing with a comparison question. You also want to look for comparative adjectives, especially if your answer choices include one that has the word than, another that has the word compared with, right? You want to pay attention. If you find that you do have a comparative adjective in the sentence, you do not want to pick the answer that contains the phrase compared with because it will be redundant. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Stick around my channel and check out my other content. I have tons of tutorials on my channel around SAT taking strategies. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye.